Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to our world. In the last episode, we took over a bandit camp, and I kind of sort of sentenced two prisoners to death. Now, I actually saved them, thinking that they would be better off as food, and so we went ahead and traded them to our neighbors right over here for some food, and now we have 6.1 days of food, in addition to what they actually had over at the base, some berries that we found there, and these guys had a lot of packaged survival meals, which was good, because one of the prisoners was worth 800 silver, so that was pretty good there. We were able to actually afford quite a lot of meals thanks to that one prisoner, and the other one was like 300 something, I don't know, it was... Not really the best price. I guess, you know, she's old, so maybe that's probably why. But then they, then again, they both were pretty old. So, hmm. I don't know. But it seems like we have more than enough meals to actually make it home. However, the trip home is 4.2 days now. And we do have beavers taking over this area somewhere. Let's see. Where are these nasty beavers? All the way at the top here. Oh. Um. Well, you see, Alaska, we aren't here so if we actually accept you, which normally I would, you would be fighting all on your own. So I'm going to have to ignore the Magi over there by yourself. But yes, here we are. Here are our beaver friends. or actually not friends because they're trying to eat all of our trees. So we might have to kill them off pretty soon. And that would be some nice meat. Especially since, you know, these things... Wait, is this thing cool in here? It is. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a cold snap. I was like, why is it so cold? Well, rip berries, because clearly we had tons of berries growing there, and now they're gone. And so much for that. Mm. So we're going to have to try to survive on this, and maybe just beaver meat, which means a lot of simple meals. I wonder if our prisoners are... Let's let's see. Are any of these prisoners actually um, cooks? Are you a cook? You cannot cook at all. You can't even cook to save your own freaking life. Aha! Aha! Uh -huh, a teeny is a cook. So hopefully we can draft a teeny pretty quickly, because we're going to need another cook really, really soon. Oh boy, uh-oh, it seems like we're having animal starvation with Boomalope 1. This Boomalope might just pass out somewhere over here and die. Wait, are you actually passed out already? Rip. Oh boy, yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Um, well, the bright side is that we put the Boomalope somewhere where there's nice walls that won't actually burn up super quickly. The not-so-bright side is that this fire can eventually spread if it maybe doesn't start snowing sometime soon. And is it not spreading? Oh, no, actually, it looks like it's spreading. And then we're going to have a lot of problems once that happens. Well, rip Boomalope 1. I guess, you know, that's kind of what happens when cold cold snap happens. All right, so how long is it for these guys? Uh-oh, it looks like we actually lost some food or we ate it all super quickly here. I know we do have one more um, buffalo here to take care of, so that might be the problem. Can we actually just let it go? Yep, I know. That's so sad, but I really need the food. We don't really need the buffalo. We need the food. We could have killed the muffler. You know what? No, I'm, I'm not going to go there. And we are feeding quite a few mouths, so hopefully this food is going to be more than enough for us, because clearly, yeah, Ty just ate a meal. I just hope none of them are actually, you know, smoking up a little bit of a joint, because that's just going to make them a lot more hungry, and we don't need that happening right now. All right, so it is snowing over here, thank goodness, because now the fire is not actually happening, so... <laughs> As for our base, it's somehow still intact, knocking on wood right now, because the next thing you know, there's going to be a raid or something like that. Oh boy. And then we're going to be kind of screwed, because no one is here to protect it. That's what I don't like about having such small groups right now. I would like to double up the size of the colony right now, just so we can, you know, have some people stay here and other people go out. Of course, I'm going to leave my strongest warriors here because we have a lot more to protect here than we probably would out on the battlefield. At least that's my way of thinking of it. Also, Morgan seems to be really, really happy when she was really upset when we were at the bandit camp. I we think someone is getting a little bit high <laughs> or something like that, because uh, clearly that's not fine. Also, since we do have three prisoners, we are going to have to make a change over here. And that is, let's see, furniture. We're going to go ahead and add some sleeping spots, excuse me. And yes, I did add a few more mods here. As you can see, I have a planning mod now. And that's going to help us maybe plan bigger and better things. So we shall see about using that in the future. Right, so the cold snap is over, which means the temperatures are going to steadily rise. I hope these guys actually get here a lot sooner than later because this thing here might not be so good and this food might go bad. If you don't get here in time, what the heck? Also, as you can see here, here is the money that we actually got from fighting the outpost. So hopefully, you know, no pirates show up to try to steal that because that wouldn't be good. 
Right, so these guys are going to be home in three days, and three days is plenty of time for bad things to happen. Let's just hope it doesn't. Well, derpy me. I seem to have forgotten that our power over here is actually powering this, so this is never going to change in temperature. We basically don't need this anymore, but I will keep it just because, you know, it's an extra source of power if ever something happens with these over here. Or it could, you know, it could always burn. That's also a thing. This one is now powered up. You can tell because, you know, all this is uh, no longer working. Hey, our people are over here. Where the heck are they? They're coming from here. All right, so we have prison. Are we really leaving the prisoners down there again? We have one. Wait, 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 where's? We're taking one of them. All right, you're, you want to consume berries? No, I don't think so. Come over here and you're uh, not. I guess maybe someone will eventually come for them because clearly... We are just ignoring them right now. Hopefully they don't get eaten because there is a bear right there. That would be the biggest gotcha ever. Also, the uh, the beavers are still... Ooh, every time you bring prisoners in here, it gets a little bit weird. Hmm. I think I found the problem. Interesting. Because this wasn't happening before, you guys. You know this. This wasn't happening before until we brought in a prisoner. Ooh. Before. Well, interesting. Sure, and oh, there is a dead alpha beaver here. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I guess the beaver isn't going to be eating us because it's eating beaver now. And or I guess the bear is not going to be eating us because it's eating beaver. Is that what I meant to say? Did I even say that? But we do still have some beavers to hunt down because they are definitely a big, big problem for us. Also, another big problem is that we really have to load this up with some fuel and that's just seemingly not happening. Man, this lag thing. This is weird. Hopefully it's going to stop now that, you know, we actually have our prisoners where they should be. And and I know that no amount of actually loading the game up again is going to stop this. It's just going to, you know, we have to wait it out. Is Morgan actually going to feel that up? That might just be the case. Uh, nope, never mind. Morgan, what are you... You're building. I guess that's fine. Who isn't doing anything? Colson is cooking. Compost is consuming berries. You know what, Compost? You're going to actually refuel that. Because we need somebody on that. All right, you know what? Let's just slow this down a little bit because clearly the lag is, um... It's too real right now. It is way too real. Oh, no, it seems like not that doesn't help. How about one time speed? Is that actually helping or is that... Uh, nope, it's still doing it. It is still doing it. Gotta love it, you guys. Gotta love it. Gotta love early access games. But you know what? Eventually this will go away. I hope. <laughs> it did it before. It'll do it again. And our muffler is just gonna hang out here as is usual. Maybe that's exactly what it is. Hmm, what are you doing? You're whoop, you're building, you're consuming berries. Okay, fine. I'll let you eat just because. Is, um... Colson actually getting on cooking? It seems like he is. Good. Thank goodness, because we are going to need some food, like, right now to feed as many people as is possible. I suppose that if we are to actually draft some prisoners, we might be, uh, let's see. We're going to have to prisoner you. Ooh, what, what do you have on you? You have meals. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who else has meals? Wow. Okay, yeah. All y'all taking the meal. I see you all. I see you all. So, uh, apparently we gave the prisoners a meals and they are all holding on to them. That's really, really dumb. Alright, so yeah, we want to chat and recruit all of these. I think the one that we want is you. So hopefully we can get you soon, but we do have some meals. I, no worry. No worry there. Bennett, come over here. Do not even feed him that. Just... Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to move the prisoners over to this room here because clearly they want to steal all the meals for themselves. That's not okay. We're going to just do that and we're going to make sure that this is not for prisoners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Confirm. And now we want to go and grab these. Aha. There we go. Move. I'm going to need you to actually grab some more food as well because clearly Billy's going to just go ahead and eat. But clearly we need these meals for ourselves and just not for the prisoners. Okay? Okay. All right. I think I have to, you know, just uh, move the muffalos or something like that, because this is a bit pr bit of a problem. Are the muffalos actually coming this way? No, they're not. Alright, Morgan, I know you're cutting and building one whatnot. Can you maybe unload this muffalo? Colson, I know you're... Oh boy, they're making more love. They want another baby. Right. So let's see. You are hauling. You're cutting an oak tree. Right. So someone unload Kyote, because we need these muffles, muffalos excuse me, unloaded and see if maybe that's the problem, because... I, I really can't remember how I got it unlagging last time, but I sincerely hope that this is it. All right, I'm going to come back when the lag is over because I just, this is this is a little bit sad. I'm a little bit sad that it's getting a little bit too laggy for my liking. Maybe we shouldn't be leaving as much. Oh, oh for a second, I thought it worked, you guys. I thought it worked. Well, it's going to take a while because clearly we're unloading the muffalos little by little and they're going to stay over here. They are not going anywhere. Alright, it seems like the lag is actually through, and the mufflows are still oddly over here with some herbal meds. Weird. Let's just get rid of that then, and somebody should go- oh, it's just one. You know what? I'm not too concerned about that. This poor mufflow, though, has to go into 
Well, I guess it can hang out wherever it wants. What do you have? You have some silver. Sure, drop it. And we should hopefully get to hauling pretty soon. I don't know how quickly they're actually going to get to that, but you know what? It is what it is. I, I seriously just want to swap all these walls, but we have so much else to do. Like, what was that? We are hunting out, uh, we are out hunting, excuse me, the alpha beavers, and I think that might have been what it was. Right, so we need, let's see, we need to build a place for us to actually get to, um, making clothes. Because right now we have plenty of tatter pellets. Seems like, though, we don't really have too many hides. Um, maybe we could have more if we hunted some muffalo right down, right down here, just as long as none of them are ours. Gotta wait for them to actually finish with the beavers, though. Oh, maybe if we just butchered all these beavers, we would be good. I guess that would work. Alright, so let's go ahead and make some furniture. We are going to go ahead and add some standing lamps right up in here, 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 and here, since eventually this will be a... Actually, that's gonna be the bedroom, isn't it? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have that there, because if I were... Let's see, production. If I were to actually add our electric tailoring bench, we would need steel, wood. Oh, we don't have wood. We have some wood, but not enough. We also need some steel, it seems. Oh man, I should have saved what we had. I honestly sold off the steel that we had, thinking that, you know, we could just get the money and buy more food that way. And I mean, we did buy more food from the steel that we collected over there. Excuse me. I almost knocked something over because I talk with my hands, even though you guys can't see me. But yeah, I, I thought that we had enough over here, and it seems like we just don't. Hmm. That's... I mean, it can work without electricity, but we still just need to put it somewhere where there's electricity. Right, so we have to figure this out. Let's see. I want to maybe... Yeah, I think I'm gonna just put it in here somewhere. Well, let's just try this up. So we're gonna have to put it somewhere where there might be... Oh, jeez. I think I love space. Yeah, I love the spaces just like that, so we can do something like that and that. All right, sure. We're gonna put one right up in here, and it's gonna be really, really cold up in here. So what we're gonna have to do is add a heater somewhere into this main room, because clearly it is very freezing cold right now. So we actually do have to get the temperature stuff working, which means we're gonna need a lot of steel. So hopefully one of these guys joins us so we can make them our our own personal little miner. Right, so how are we going to do this room up? I suppose we could just put this... Excuse me, turkey. Where do you think you're going? There we go. We're gonna try putting it there. We're also gonna put one, I guess we could put it in this joint room, and we can make this for, let's see, I think Bennett is the one who usually has bad moods, next to Morgan, because we already gave Morgan a bedroom. So those two are gonna go there, and we have some, un oh, one unknown bed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall that. Let me just uh, get rid of this. We're gonna reinstall this up in here for Billy, so Billy can be a little bit happier, maybe join us pretty soon. All right, that looks like it's working. We need to get that in, and that means we need to connect that up with some power. And a new recruit, we got Robin. All right, welcome, Robin. You're not the one I wanted, but sure. Wait, were you the one who was like really hard to recruit? Was that Billy? That was Billy, never mind. All right, so power, power, power. We're gonna have to connect this up just like this. And I think we're gonna actually connect it up with the rest of this stuff. So let's just do something like that, like that. And that means we are going to need tons of this. So let's go ahead and mine this out here, which I really don't like to do. Is there anything else? Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Don't mind if I do, because clearly there's plenty of it right over there. Right, so let's see. Robin, what are you good at? You are good at wardening. A lot better than Bennett? Yeah. So much better than Bennett. Bennett's gonna be a four, you're gonna be a one now, because we need somebody to ward in super well. And you know what? You were friends with those guys? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. So you can maybe go and convince them to join us, right? All right, so let's see. Morgan is a builder first, a, con a miner second. Yeah, miner second. All right, so Morgan should be going to that, and you aren't really good at mining, so we're gonna remove you from hauling. If you're not a cook at all, um, you seem to not be able to handle yourself well there. So I guess what you're gonna do is just hauling and cleaning, and plant cutting afterwards. Sure, I can accept that. I can definitely accept that. You know what? We have a permanent warden now, so that means we can always be getting prisoners going and trading things and getting good prices for it and maybe things are gonna end up well there oh boy it seems like we are getting sieged a group of pirates from the suicidal team have arrived nearby all right it looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance so how many people are there here oh my gosh uh one two three four five six seven eight eight or something like that i don't know there's a one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's nine of them. And there's naturally seven of us. Can you even handle a gun at all? Oh, yeah, you actually like it. All right, so do you have any extra guns? Like maybe an LMG or something like that, because we could definitely use you using that LMG. 
and just shooting into them. I mean, it could actually blow them up a little bit. That wouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't be so sad with uh, losing you. <laughs> Honestly, though. If I'm honest, I would not be sad. I thought I saved an LMG. Am I, like, just not seeing it, you guys? I might not be seeing it. Is that it right there behind Bennett? No, it's a wooden club. Hmm. Hmm. I know I, I know we took those with us. Whatever. You know what? Grab these. That might work for us. And hopefully the rest of us have more than enough uh, good weapons to work with this. Let's see. Colson, you have a gun. Just going to make sure that they all have weapons. Otherwise, we might be super screwed. All right. So got to get Robin to actually grab some stuff. Everybody else team up over here. And we are coming over to this area right here. I'm not so sure. Let's see. Does everybody have their helmets on? It seems like Colson does not have a helmet. Dude, what'd you do? Where, where'd you drop your helmet? Is it... Jeez, it's so hard to find things. There's like a cruddy bowler right there. I'm pretty sure we held onto the helmet. I saw one when we were trying to unload. Let's see. Do these people even have things on them? Like, they probably are still carrying tons of stuff on them. And I didn't even realize. You have some meals. You're good. You're good. You're good. Simple meal there. Simple meal there. Alright, I know there's a helmet somewhere, you guys. I just can't seem to find it. And our mufflos surely don't have them. Huh. Huh. Weird. So, our stuff basically just disappeared while we were traveling? Or did I accidentally sell it? I may have accidentally sold it. Honestly speaking, well, it seems like Coulson might be in trouble, but whatever. That's his own fault for taking off his helmet and putting on a nice warm hat because he was clearly very cold. Alright, so Robin, grab that. Let's go ahead and grab Robin. Ooh, it seems like we're going to meet... It seems like we are going to meet. All right, so Robin, I'm going to actually have you come around over here because you have to, like, shoot them from this way. So let's just try to distract them all with a little bit of gunfire. It seems like we're not going to have anywhere to hide. So we might, might as well just try to take this over here. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and grab you up here. Let's put compost down here if, you know, they can reach. Morgan has a different gun, so we can't really have Morgan there. I have Moo up here. Bennett, you're going to try to cross all the way over here. Ty, I need you behind the tree. And is, is that everybody? Oh, geez, they're going the wrong way. Um, Robin, quick, get in here. Oh, geez, that shot. Yep, I knew I was gonna make it. I saw that shot, and I was just like, Yep, that's gonna hit. Oh boy, all right, so hurry up, you guys. Hurry up, kids. Colson and Morgan, did I really tell you guys to go back there? I don't think we can fire, actually. Can we? Can we see anybody? No, they have to walk in a little bit closer. Alright, Colson, since you're being dumb, go ahead and hide behind this tree. It seems like Morgan might have to hide behind this tree, cause gun. And Robin is gonna try to come up here behind them, if we can, to try to grab them. Ooh! Looks like we got a headshot on Gerald, and they're trying to take shots. Ow, Ty, you're good? You're good. Whew. You might lose your arm pretty soon, cause they're clearly firing at you. Okay, Robin, be careful. Be careful, Robin. Alright, so kitties, let's try to focus on whoever we can see first. That might be Erickson. As for you kids, I think it might also be Erickson. I'm looking at it. Yeah, it is. Colson, can you even fire from back there? No, you can't. Well, I guess we're going to have to leave him behind just because he's uh, having some problems. Alright, so come back here, Robin. Just because we're going to need you to make sure that, you know, you can take care of things. Morgan is not looking good at all. Bolt action rifle. Yeah, we're going to have to get these kids down pretty quickly. Alright, Robin, it's time. It's your time to shine, buddy. You might die, but you know what? That's fine. Throw it in there. Read him and weep. Oh boy. All right, run, run. Oh, they're sieging right now. They're sieging because we killed one of them. Was it? That hit absolutely nobody. Oh, it seems like Gerald's actually trying to focus us right now. All right, Ty, how are you doing? You're pretty hurt right now. You're also pretty hurt. Your leg is not looking good at all. Colson, I need you to move up, buddy. I, I need you to, you know, do something here. So let's move you up here so we can move you behind the line and see if you're going to actually do that. As for these guys, let's try to focus on maybe Hakuja because Hakuja, Hakuja? Hakuja is actually coming at us with a knife. So let's go ahead and try to grab that person right there with... It seems like Campos doesn't actually see... Ooh, a headshot right there. If that would have been Colson, he would have been dead. All right, so we're going to have to move you back in a second because you are clearly in... Oh, no, never mind. You're good. Oh, you just got another headshot, actually. That was not good. It seems like Colson can actually see Nico. All right, Robin, I need you coming in here, and I need you firing... Oh, look at that. They're all together. <laughs> this is going to be good. Stay, everybody. Everybody stay in there. Whew. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Do it again, Robin. All right, now run. It seems like uh, Morgan actually went down after a few shots there, and ouch, Ty also went down. Ty is really, really bad. Ouch, and it seems like 
what we did there didn't do much. Robin is a little bit hurt, but maybe we can hide just right here instead, because it seems like, oh boy, they're focusing us. What are you guys trying to do? Moving. All right, Campos, I need you moving behind Moo, because clearly we need to shoot Tony down right now. Tony, go down. Get shafted scrub. It seems like Tony's actually not going down. Are you trying to come up from behind us? Oh, you're trying to grab cover right there. Um, I don't think so. Campos, right here. Right here. Take him down. You got this. There we go. All right. So that's, uh, let's see. Morgan, are you going to be okay? 7.1 hours. And, oh, you lost your leg. That's okay. It's just a leg. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's no big deal. You know, it's just the way you walk. It's nothing that bad. All right. So, uh, Bennett, let's see who you can focus now. You, it seems like I can get Gerald. I think Moo is also focusing Gerald. And Campos, what are you focusing on? You don't even see him. What are you doing, kid? Okay, get behind, get behind Moo, even though this is a little bit dangerous. And Robin, are you ready? I guess this is uh, not enough. Ooh, Robin actually went down. Ouch, and an attack. Oh, that was on the spine right there. All right, let's see what we can do with these kids over here. We're trying to get Gerald down, and that's not actually working. This might not turn out so well for us, because this is, um, ouch. Oh, look at that. We actually got it after they shot Compost once. Seems like we might have a prisoner here in the name of Lynx, or although we could maybe try to get some more. Let's see, can we actually shoot Gerald down for once? He's been standing for way too long for me to like this. Also, this was really, really poorly coordinated. I apologize. I'm just, uh, clearly was not ready for this. Clearly, clearly was not ready for this. Let's go ahead and start turning some of these buttons to medical, because it seems like we have five people who actually need treatment. Three of them are down. So we're going to have to just try to take care of this nice and slow. Poor Robin, only just joined the colony and suddenly is getting attacked. Uh, that's just the way it goes, kid. You know what? You become kind of sort of the sacrifice. Is anybody getting... Nobody's getting Gerald. Okay. All right, that's fine. You know what? I'm going to let it go just because we have people who are down and need treatment immediately. So Moo, go ahead and rescue Morgan. Go and grab Ty because Ty is not looking good at all. He's nine hours. Bennett, come over here and rescue Robin. And hopefully we can grab these weapons pretty soon. Oh, actually, Lynx, Lynx. What are... Pessimist, Prostophile, Abrasive. Hmm. Huh. This could be bad. Because of that and that. But this could be... You're 40, you can cook. <sighs> I'm gonna grab her. I'm gonna grab her just because she can cook. And it might be okay. And this might be, you know, a problem here. But I'm gonna... If it becomes a problem, we'll just send her off, you know, and pretend like she... Or or we can just send her into the throes of battle and she'll die right there. Because that's gonna be okay. Alright, let's go ahead and grab all these things here. Unforbid everything. There we go. And who was it that's not doing anything? Coulson. Right. Coulson, come over here and capture Lynx. That way we can have one more prisoner. Hopefully we can actually take care of our own people right now. Because that's what's most important. Oh, you guys, it sucks when some of our people go down, and you know what? That's just the way it is, though. And, yeah, that's Robin. All right, so, um, Camp Campos and Colson, they're, they're the only ones. I'm pretty sure it's more than just that. All right, so what kinds of meds do we have here? We have regular meds, we have some herbals. Okay, this is gonna be okay. Morgan is no longer in cable. Really? Are you sure about that? Where's Moo? Wait, you lost a leg in your- Oh, that's right. They cannot walk with only one leg. All right, Moo. Moo, 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 moo. Tending to Morgan. You better. You better. Like, super quickly. Five hours. Go around. Go there. Good. Wait, are you grabbing glitter roll meds? Oh, every time that happens. Every freaking time. All right, we lost three meds, but you know what? That's okay. They're going to heal up pretty nicely then instead. Wow, that was actually super fast. Um, Can you rest, please? Can you rest? Moo needs to take care of you. Like, seriously, you're dying. Ugh, jeez, Morgan. All right, so Ty is actually <laughs> hanging in there. And do we have another doctor here? Let's see, Com Compos, what are, what are you doing, buddy? Look, okay, you're actually tending, thank goodness. Coulson, Coulson, are you really that bad off? You are not, you're tending to Lynx. Um, how bad is Lynx? Peg leg, really? Why didn't I notice that before? <laughs> that was bad, all right, Morgan, Moo, Morgan is down, isn't she? Yeah, Moo, oh, I guess we're doing what we can then. And, I mean, Robin has nine hours, so that might not be the worst thing. All right, so is Morgan all patched up? It seems like that's the case. I'm sorry, Moo. I know you want to eat, but please tend to Robin. Ty, I don't know what your butt is doing, but... Oh, fine. You know what? If you want to go... Ooh, huskies. Hello, food. Wait, where? <laughs> oh, hello, food. I, I know that's really bad, but I don't like having huskies because they kind of tend to die pretty easily to bears. So they're cute and all, and I would love to keep them. But just not today, Satan. So let's go ahead and actually murderize all these poor little dogs. And we're going to eat their yummy flesh. 
<laughs> I don't want to see this. I really don't want to see this. I like huskies. I just can't. Let's just see. Is it, have they been taken care of? No, not yet. So I can't even go over there just yet until they actually take care of them. Hunter likes ranged weapon. All right. That means, okay, they have one husky left to take care of. Whew, okay, good. All right. So Hunter likes ranged weapon. Ty, are you going to go and grab your gun? Come here and equip that. That was yours, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was yours. This one over here was Morgan's. Morgan is trying to rest. You know what, Morgan? Fine. You can grab that. And I believe Robin was with these here. Right. So who do we have to give legs to? You seem to be okay. I think it's just Morgan who needs a leg. So we're going to give Morgan a peg leg because that should be about all she needs. You are still a little bit hurt. That should heal up though on its own. <laughs> Unless you plead out somehow, but that shouldn't happen. That really shouldn't happen. All right, Robin is up and walking. Thank goodness, because I didn't really want to lose anyone there. So we have this neat little heavy SMG over here that I kind of want to equip Robin with. So let's go ahead and give that to her right there. And maybe that's going to be good. Ooh, wait, machine pistol. Wait, is that Morgan's? Did Morgan already? No, Morgan already has her gun. Hmm, well, you know what? We could drag those in and hopefully if we really need them, that'll be okay. Feeding some oatmeal to Lynx. Oh, come on. I wanted to grab you over here and to, yeah, come over here and haul this because we need that stuff hauled. And we're also going to need to get this, uh, oh boy, Colson, Itini, and Billy. So our two prisoners and Colson. Colson seems to be afflicted with everything like all the time. Poor Colson is uh, not a healthy person. Well, let's go ahead and prioritize hauling that and caravan request. Ooh, they want berries for some silver. Do we have them in berries? Because sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. And we have, oh, <gasps> you guys, it did, it did it. It actually asked for something that we actually have. So let's see, how far away is this? <laughs> uh, you will consider it, but that's a little bit far. That is actually a little bit far. Like, we're going to have to go down to here and here, unless they actually want to walk through there. Let's see, form a caravan. Let's take our best person here. I guess that would be compost, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? So if we were to take compost and go all the way over here, nine days going and then coming back. Uh-uh. Nah, uh, 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 uh. No way, no freaking how. I'm not going to do that. As much as I would love to do that, I am not going to do that. All right, so poor Morgan is hanging out in this room all by herself. It seems like now poor Robin is uh, hauling stuff. And we do have some meals over here, which should be good. Some components, you know, we were able to take care of things before bad things happened. I should have actually let them build things, but you know what? It's whatever. We have some go juice here, which as long as we don't have anybody who has a chemical fascination should be okay in the colony. And, oh, it looks like we kind of need floors up here and probably some more chairs now that we have some more colonists. So let's get that going so they can build that up as soon as is possible. Because it seems like maybe some of them have nothing to do. So there we go. Lining this up with some chairs here and also some floors. But I'm thinking instead of wood floor, because, you know, we have to replace all the wood floor eventually. We are going to go ahead and, ooh, oh, that's right. We have more floors. Yeah, no, you know what? I, I... I think I'm going to prioritize it with uh, just this one here because it looks nice enough to me and I want the colony to kind of look kind of the same throughout. So let's just do it up just like that and maybe that's going to give them enough work, you know, as long as we have someone always on here. So Robin, what are you up to these days? Let's see. Let's make sure that all these uh, people have the same schedule. There we go. Robin is or should be hauling, cleaning, and plant cutting. Right. Or wardening because clearly we have some prisoners here. Let's actually try to recruit you as well. There we go. So... It seems like Lynx is breaking. <laughs> Did Lynx just fall? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens to you, buddy. That's what happens to you. All right, hopefully someone will go in there and actually... Oh, it seems like Billy might have punched Lynx a little bit. Oh, well, you know what? That's, that's just what happens when you try to actually go crazy on your friends here. I guess they're not friends, are they? Wait, are they? I think they're both from the same... They might be from the same faction. Or how many factions do we have? Excuse me. No, we have two pirate bands, so it could be from different ones. Are they? Let's see. Suicidal team and... No. They actually know each other. Let's see. Do they? For, for real, though. Uh, oh, rival. Aha. Aha. So now we know. Now we know where that came from. Right, so in the next episode, we're going to continue trying to actually get some more prisoners, especially a teeny, because a teeny is the best one that we have here in terms of cooking. Or we could get links, because links kind of sort of cooks and we clearly need to make tons of meals for many people however we do have some meals to feed our colonists for now until colson decides to stop being you know so sick of everything that afflicts the colony 
But that'll have to happen in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of RimWorld. If you enjoyed, hit that like button for your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.